Hi, my name is Ben Sinclair. This is another video on using Epi Info 7. Uh, we're going to start this video with uh, creating some frequencies and cross tabs in the uh, visual dashboard of Epi Info. So, get Epi Info up here, and I've already got this up and running. A visual dashboard, you would click here to start it. Go ahead and open this up. I've already got it going. <coughs> so let's start by we'll start by right clicking on the dashboard and we're going to add analysis gadget uh, frequency. Let's click it. So we can uh, if you want to see frequency of let's say how many people were ill, let's we'll choose that. Scroll down the list of variables here. Select ill and click run. Okay, so we can see here that in this data set on E. coli um, shows us that 276 people were ill. 83 people said they did not get ill. There's a total of 359 people. We've got some percentage here. Uh, shows the percentage here. <coughs> uh, all right, let's um, suppose we want to stratify these results. Maybe see how many of each group, the ill and not ill, um, are men and how many are women. Uh, so let's click this uh, settings button here on our gadget. It opens back up these properties window that we started with and click Advanced Options to expand. And you'll see here we have some more options. There's some boxes we can check to get some different things. We can uh, weight our frequency by particular variables. Um, but what we'll do right now is we'll just, we'll just stratify. We'll choose to stratify by sex. Is. and then click run. Okay, now here you see we've created two groups in our frequency table. <coughs> the first is female and uh, it shows us that 147 got sick and 39 didn't and we had a total of 186 females. We've got percentages again. Um, in the males group, it shows us how many got sick and how many didn't, and that there were 173 males in the survey, and the percentages that each of those represent. All right, now let's also open up a cross tabs. We'll right click on the dashboard again and do our analysis gadget, <coughs> and come here and we'll choose the 2x2 two two table. So we're going to choose the same the same two things. Let's choose illness as our exposure or outcome rather. Let's choose illness as our outcome and sex as our exposure so that we can continue to compare these two uh, these two variables. And just click run. All right this down here so we can see what we've got. Now it is <coughs> uh, so it, the cross tab gives us the number in each category. It gives us percentages here for the rows and the and the columns. Um, And on this side, we've got odds and risk-based um, parameters. So we, we, our odds ratio, our risk ratio, risk difference. And then what I wanted to point out here is that we have here um, some other statistical tests. This is where our chi-squared is. Um, and so it is it is calculated uh, chi-squared for us. <coughs> this um, 
EpiInfo tends to the, these gadgets tend to calculate several different um, statistical tests in one shot for you, which is convenient, but you need to be able to understand, based on the data you're working with, which of these tests m are probably most appropriate for describing your data. Um, but they're all here. You just have to decide which of these best describes uh, the data in your case. So that's it for this video. Um, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it.